Hello everybody, my name is Brian Sorby. I'm Director of Sales for TopCon Agriculture Americas. This year at Farm Progress 2016, we're releasing a new product called the Athene Spreader Control System. This is our first uh, lineup of ISOBUS Spreader Control ECUs. And uh, so what we're doing is we're launching this at Farm Progress this year. Uh, what we have here is the ability to control belt type spreaders, spinner type spreaders, just about any kind of spreading mechanism you can think of. Um, and like I said, it is ISO bus compliant, so it's not required to work with a TopCon display. It can work with third-party displays and third-party task controllers, OEM displays, for example. Uh, one of the unique things about Athene is that it's, uh, well, there's a couple of unique things, actually. This product uh, we're particularly proud of because it leveraged a lot of the acquisitions that TopCon has made in the last 18 months. So what you have is collaboration by global engineering teams to bring forth a product together for one common uh, market. And so this product in particular comes from the core technologies and it comes from our uh, acquisition RDS technologies in the UK. And so that engineering team is well known throughout the world as being one of the best, most knowledgeable spreader type engineering knowledge base that we have. And so we went to RDS and said, you know, we need an updated spreader control system. We like what they're doing on some of the OEM products that they've developed. So they helped us bring Athene to life. Now, one of the other compelling features about Athene is that it has the ability to interface with load cells. And one of the other strategic acquisitions that TopCon had made in the last year and a half was Digistar Technologies out of Fort, Wa Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Now, the concept of having a, just a spreader control ECU watching belt RPMs and then having a scale even that the way uh, that weighs the box itself for inventory, those two concepts by themselves are nothing new. However, what Athene does is it bridges those two technologies together. So not only do you have a spreader control ECU, but you have it communicating seamlessly in the background with the scale that the spreader box is sitting on itself. What that unfolds or unlocks for the end user and for the operator is the ability to dynamically calibrate. Calibration is the biggest enemy to a spreader's function. So, you know, deviations of 5, 8, maybe even 10% are not unheard of on spreader boxes because it's simply calculating product density and RPMs of the belt. It's a, it's a, it's very subjective to error. What Athene does is every, about, about every five seconds it takes a look at that load cell system and recalibrates itself and adjusts the density of the product as you move through the field. What that means is deviations of those kinds of numbers are unheard of with this. Deviations less than 1%, pretty much standard all the time. So when you want to run out of product at the end of your field, you'll run out of product and uh, and when you want to have accurate application rates, this is what brings that to the table. So right now, Athene's already released. So today, there's kits for all the major spreader boxes that we've got, as well as some universal kits for you know people who want to do a little more custom wiring. So you know OEMs such as Doyle and Chandler, BBI, New Leader, all of those specific manufacturers are covered with aftermarket kits. We also got some universal kits that just you know you can wire up an encoder, you can wire up a PWM valve, however you want to control your spreader, all very possible. Um, you can get that today. We've got them in stock in Livermore. Um, the trickier part is integrating the load cell package onto spreaders, but we've got a whole team at Digistar of scale experts that are happy to help you out with that as well. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.